Washington Communicator Manual. Shauna Greninger is our VP of PR. She does the public relations for our club and her passion and her purpose this year is to help us with our social media to really get our club well positioned. So, Shauna, if you would be so kind as to come and share with us Facebook 101. Eight to ten minutes, Madam Toastmaster, Madam Facebook. Facebook 101. Now, one of the things Freddie and I went over was I went over a lot of YouTube and Facebook and our website and it was a lot and I do this every day so for me it's bing bang boom and then Freddie suggested hey let's break them down so this is our Facebook 101 so we can go over everything now one thing about Facebook and why I picked Facebook to go over first is because that is really a great opportunity to utilize our message to get out there to everybody else. Like it's really important so everybody can see things and again when you're on a Facebook, when you're on Facebook and you're looking, you never know what stories you see. So the more people post and the more that goes on, the bigger impact that it's going to have. So this is just really a quick snapshot of what it looks like when you get onto Facebook. Now I have five pages that I deal with and I have a lot of different groups that I'm part of. So mine might, might look a little busier than yours. However, what really matters is over here where you see shortcuts. You've got your news feed where you've got all this stuff up here. Of course, we can get into stories a different day. So depending on where you are, this is kind of what you see when you go into it. Now up here, there's a whole bunch of places that you can get to home, your main page or to your timeline, just depending on. So home means timeline, so that gives you an idea of what everybody's doing that are friends. And when you go into your name, that gives you just your own personal page, okay? So it talks about everything to do with you. Because we're here talking about Toastmasters, if you guys have not had a chance, I know probably all of you If you haven't, please go and do that. Here's another tip. Put it in the shortcut. So all you need to do is go into the page, hit edit, so there's that little edit button there, and it will basically ask you to pin it to the top of the page. So any of the groups or pages that you are really into, you can pin it to the top of your page so then you always have it in your shortcuts. So because of everything that I do, it's easy and I got it right there. So I don't have to search for anything. So it's really nice to have it there because of everything that we're going over, we do so much with Facebook within our club. Every single week, somebody graciously brings an amazing summary to the table and they put it on here with Valentina's gorgeous pictures. So when we have all this people to know what we're up to and what we're doing and this is a great way for people to read and visualize exactly everything that happens in our club in one hour we do a lot in one hour so this is kind of what happens when you get onto our dynamically speaking Toastmaster page and then of course this just goes to indicate our summaries between everybody that does it so there are lots of information throw out there is all this information that's in there that creates data that creates just a good amount of information that's in the context of the whole program and so the more stuff that we do the bigger our page gets out there just kind of that algorithm of Facebook that I have no idea they just tell me that's what it does so when we take the time to have those amazing summaries done, those pictures. There's so much work that goes into what people do with our Facebook page today. If we can start to do three things, like it, comment on it. Like Alexander would say something, maybe, right? <laughs> those are so important. And 
it just comes down, even here's an example, Freddie, what an amazing experience. So sorry if you missed it as a member, join us next week. Just something, or it was a great morning, or thanks so much for your speech. Anything is just an, an, uh, another opportunity to comment on such a successful meeting. Then after you do one and two, there's share. So not everybody's gonna wanna share. about you, feel free to share that onto your page or onto your timeline. Because then basically what you've done is you've taken what you did in that morning and you've shared it with everybody that is friends with your page. What happens, you can share it specifically, you can share it to a group or you can share it to a page. So sharing it to your timeline is your personal area where everybody that is your friends get to see what you're up to. And you'll always have it there. And then the nice thing is, just so you're aware, in a year, it's gonna say, hey, guess what you did a year ago? And it'll kind of show that memory. So those are really great things. It's just, it's like a snapshot of what you did today, and then you constantly get reminded. If you wanna share it to a group, if you have another group that you wanna inspire, maybe you're trying to talk to some people about, hey, come to Toastmasters, this is a great opportunity. Here's a quick little link, you could do it to a group. And of course you can share it to a page. So if there's a page where it's a business page, so Shauna with Remax is a business page, Dynamically Speaking is a business page, those kind of things, you have a page that you wanna share it on too, that's okay too. So just remember one, two, three. Like, comment, and share. When you share, there's a couple different ways. Now because I'm an admin for Dynamically Speaking, it looks a little bit different on my profile. Always make sure, depending on where you are, you can determine whether or not you want to share on a page you manage, on your timeline, and then you're posting it as who. You always want to make sure that you're posting it as yourself. So if you are using, using other different pages, like you're the administrator for that, just make sure that you're careful on that. Because many times, and even with Dynamically Speaking, I'm doing up something with Remax, but Dynamically Speaking, put it up. <laughs> We're good. And then when you share, you just say something. Check out what Glenn did. Check out how amazing our meeting is. It doesn't have to be long and winded. It could just be a quick little, hey, this is an amazing morning. Check out our, our two speakers today, exclamation mark. Done. The last thing about that is everything that goes on Facebook can be tagged. So if you don't want to share it, Tag yourself. So all you have to do is click on the photo to start tagging. So you click and then a square goes around the face and then you put in whatever name it is and so you can tag yourself on there. Now I try to remember to tag everybody but if you are doing a speech and you go on there you like you comment and you tag then you will also have that tag towards your timeline as well. So it's another link. So if you do everything, that just keeps it going. But again, just little things at a time, okay? All right. So that kind of goes over everything when it comes down to the one, two, three. Like, comment, share, and then share tag is the same thing. Events. So every Thursday morning, we have an event scheduled at seven in the morning. If you are interested in having somebody come or you wanna remind them, you can send this link to them. And it's really super easy to do that. So we can create an event, but we've got all of the seven to eight in the morning on Thursdays already in there. So if you go onto your page, you can see that it's got events. We've got every single meeting in, I think until the end of January, but we'll keep adding more on there. So anything that is specific, if there's anything exciting or anything that's going on where you're thinking, hey, I want everybody to know to be prepared that there's a theme or anything specific, we can add those in there as well. So you can create an event or you can just go into whatever event you want. So now let's say from, you go into your Dynamically Speaking page and you click on this date. Are you interested? 
So what will happen is it's going to say interested or going. Well, pick going. <laughs> so then guess what happens? It will remind you, hey, you have an event coming up. So it's a really good way when you have all this stuff going on. Everybody's life is crazy. I'm sure mine is super crazy. I can only imagine what everybody else is. And it's just a good opportunity to say, hey, So you can go through and going, going, going. So you don't have to spend every week going in every, you can just do it all at once. You can invite different people, you can see more dates. And this one here will show us. So right now we have four people that, were, that are interested in next week. And zero has been invited. So it's just something, not to sit there and say that you always have to have somebody um, or interested or whatever, but it just kind of gives an opportunity. You can invite friends, so if you send it out, you can share in Messenger, and you can share as a post. And I have a little quick thing on that. <clears throat> so you can basically go in and invite friends, and I can invite my brother. I invited my husband last night as I was testing it to see how it would work. And you can just put your, their names in there. And you can just send a quick little message in Messenger, so that gives a private message. And then of course you can just make it all work out where it's done, invited, and you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Okay, last but not least, we've got the posts. So anybody that wants to share a post, please feel free to do that. You can go in here, you go into posts, and you just write something on there. We've got this happening, or check this out, if you want to share something. I put the post on last night with our winners from our table topics and evaluation. So I added some pictures. I added a quick little post. You add your photos, so it gives you all the different stuff there. And then it kind of looks like this. So congratulations, here's the pictures. That's where you add them. And then you share it, done. Right away I had some likes. Right away I had some comments, which was awesome. I went in there and put a little comment in there hit like on there, which also just shows the other person that you've read their message, and it's just a nice way of saying thank you. Well, last but not least, reviews. If you, I know I talked about this last time, if you haven't had a chance to go in there and give us a five star, please do, it just helps with the algorithm and the ratings, you just go under reviews, and it's easy peasy. I know Ken put a little friendly, Supportive environment where you, just a quick little sentence is awesome. Why do we do this? So the last time I showed this, they were down. So whatever we did from then till now has been better. We were up 367% with the total page views. So we're constantly getting bigger and better, which is amazing. So that kind of gives us a snapshot of how we're doing as a club with our business. So really, at the end of the day, when you see something that stands out, so Freddie always puts some amazing posts on there, and you see yeah. it, and you love it, share it, like it, comment on it, do something with it. If it stands out to you, that's just another way of saying, wow, that's cool. So you can like it, you can share it, you can do whatever you want. And then that basically will give you an entire opportunity to just get out there with Facebook. Just remember, like, comment, Share, be active, check every